okay so today we'll solve get 2029 question this is a question from complex analysis it is question number 37 what it is saying let a region omega is given x plus i y such that x lies from minus 1 to 2 and y lies between minus pi by 3 to pi by 3 so this is a rectangle in x y plane is given so in the complex plane and the transformation is given that it is z goes to e to the power z so this map this region omega to the region s in the complex plane then you have to find the area of the region s and four options are given you have to find which one is correct okay so in order to solve this this is the nptl reference you can look into it okay so you have to find the area of a region so what it is given so note that for the first we need a one result so in order to finding the area of a certain under some conformal maps so let us one result So if f from some domain u to a few is conformal, so conformal means basically this is means which map the, which are angle preserving. Uh, so I know about that. So this map is analytic whenever the derivative of a map is non-zero so then we can say that this map will be conformal. So suppose f is a conformal then area of f u this is basically given by integration over u mod f dash z whole square dx dy okay so this is the area formula so note that let me sketch this is very easy now you can see it so note let me see how this will come just only easily so what is area of the some region area of f of u this is just the integration of integration over a few suppose let's say f map from x y plane to suppose f is a mapping from this this is x y plane to u v plane in the complex plane so then area will be f u d u d v right so this will be the area of the region f u suppose this is a re some region u and this is f u right now you if you now make the change of variable then what will happen so suppose let's uh, let me here we need one more result so this we know this so let me write one more result so you have to prove that this should be equal to this one right so this one if f is holomorphic at a point if f is holomorphic at a 
at some point z and if we write f of x y by f of z means we are viewing it as function of two real two variables real function then from this so capital f is a function from r2 we are viewing and f is a function from c then f is differentiable in the sense of real variable and you can write down the jacobian determinant so this is the jacobian matrix for capital f at the point some xy so this will be given by mod f dash z whole square so this side it is the determinant basically jacobian determinant Okay, so basically Jacobian determinant of capital F is equals to mod F dash Z whole square. Now as area of F u is basically double integral over F u du dv. If you now make change of variable, so, so then what will be this? So viewing F as a function of fz as capital F of xy so this will be some ub so where it is given so therefore so this is same as a change of variable over the integration over u j f jacobian determinant when you do the change of variable it will come jacobian determinant so basically this is the determinant and dx dy and what is this jacobian determinant by the above result so this jacobian determinant is mod of f dash z whole square dx dy so this is the area so whenever f is conformal this this is the area you can use this one or anything whatever you want if you are viewing as a real variable function that can, then you can use as this formula if you are viewing f as a complex variable function then you can use this one right so here not where we have what we have given so here rho is our region is given is such that x plus i y x is from minus 1 to 2 and y is from minus pi by 3 to pi by 3 and f is a map from omega to s where it will map basically it will map z to e to the power z fz is e to the power z so note this map is conformal because you can see that this map is derivative to be non-zero note f is conformal So therefore we can use the this formula to compute the area or this one right so therefore area of f omega therefore area of s which is same as area of f omega right so which is given by double integral so by this formula so if you view it as a real variable function then it will be over omega jacobian determinant of z capital f x y times dx dy so you have to find the so what is this capital f here what is capital f note that capital f of x y what is this this is basically f of z right 
So f of z is e to the power z. So this you can write e to the power x cos y comma e to the power x sin y. So f is a function from R2 to R2, right? So you have to find the Jacobian determinant of this f. So Jacobian determinant of f at some point x, y. So suppose let's call it this is u, v. So then it will be del u, del x, del u, del y, del v, del x, del v, del y. What is del u del x? Del u del x is e to the power x cos y. Del u del y minus e to the power x sin y. What is del v del x? Del v del x is e to the power x sin y. And what is del v del y? e to the power x cos y. So this is determinant of this. So determinant of this will be to the power 2x cos square y plus sin square y. So which is e to the power 2x. So this is the Jacobian determinant. So therefore area will be area of S which is by this one area of s is given by this one omega determinant of jacobian dx dy and what we have got this jacobian so what is omega omega is this region minus 1 to 2 x is from minus 1 to 2 and y is from minus pi by 3 to pi by 3 so this minus 1 to 2 so let me write it here minus pi by 3 to pi by 3 and jacobian determinant is e to the power 2x dx dy So now find the intuition. So, so in y variable it is independent of y integrand. So that we have first integrate it out. So it will be 2 pi by 3 into integration of this e to the power x e to the power 2x and evaluate you have to minus 1 to 2. So it will be pi by 3 into e to the power 4 minus e inverse so pi by 3 e to the power 4 minus e to the power minus 2 so we have got the area of this s is given by pi by 3 e to the power 4 minus e to the power minus 2 so let's see which options is correct first option is pi by 3 e to the power 4 minus e to the power minus 2 so option A is correct, so therefore other options are all the other are not matching. So option number A is correct. Okay.